Hello everybody, Prowl here and welcome to another episode on the Bedrock Guide and today we are tackling this task behind us. And this task is getting this room actually sorted and boy is it going to be quite a task. Um, between episodes, between the last one and this one, I actually went through and I gathered all of my shulker boxes from everywhere. So we have all of our stuff gathered and can I just please show you how much it is because it's a lot. First of all, I'm afraid for creepers to blow it up, so I like hid one back here. We have a full double chest work worth of shulker boxes there. We also have a full double chest worth of shulker boxes here, or almost a full one, and we have a few more there too. Guys, this is gonna take a really long time to get done. And um, I guess our first step that we're gonna do is we really just need to figure out how we're going to organize this room and where the items are going to go how they're going to sort out you may remember in the last episode what i talked about was with this multi-item sorter what you have to do is you have to fill in every slot it's a slot reservation system so this is our first module every slot between here then this one this one and finally this last one over here needs to be filled except for maybe this bottom row over here that we can have for like unstackable or items or items that maybe don't have a spot in the system yet that way they don't get stuck in the system right so we have to figure out a way to organize this first of all this first little section right here like this these bottom two rows or maybe these top two rows i don't i don't quite know yet um i think i want it to be shulker boxes so we're going to adjust that to make those shulker boxes that way we can um, put shulkers that will normally carry inside of our ender chest and like have some sitting here pre-made and then whenever we need a project box or a replacement box of some sort it'll be ready here to go uh, we'll probably put valuables of different sorts up here and then maybe we'll do like a section it's going to be I don't know like more building blocks like woods and stones and like things of that nature would go here and then maybe over here we do like colors like different color things could go here and then maybe here ish would be like mob drop type things this is just early planning for me what i'm going to do is i'm going to start getting some items out or you know what i think would be best to do let's go through no let's go ahead let's get items out let's get some items out and start figuring out how we're going to organize this i got item frames somewhere on me actually that's good so we can start placing item frames down if i can reach can i reach up that high i'm gonna have to stand on something to reach the item frame up here or jump each time one of the two um and then we're gonna start figuring out where these things are gonna go oh gosh okay item frames and everything now it's time to start getting things out and i kind of regret putting everything in shulker boxes but because now I just I just have shulker boxes to look through it's not gonna be easy figuring out how to do this I need to take some off-camera time to really give this some thought and develop a bit of a strategy and I said we were gonna change this shulkers maybe I'll do that first just because it, it's something to procrastinate the job of actually selecting spots for everything okay I think I've kind of started to find a strategy for at least the woods and I know this is going to be like my like quote unquote like builders slash natural things section, right? So I have oak up there and we're going to put spruce right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bulk of it for the actual logs. So we'll do like four rows of it for logs. And then uh, we'll do like a couple rows for planks, a couple rows for slabs couple rows for stairs and a couple rows for uh, trap doors maybe we'll do three rows for stairs and then we need a row for fences fence gates strip logs stripped uh, the four-sided like log wood thing and then we need this guy we need this guy we need this guy we need this guy and we have a space left over which means that maybe we can just like take these and shift them down maybe we'll put this right here and that gets us everything that you can make from a spruce log and I'm gonna do all of the woods like this so I'll take up one two three four five and six spots and then that'll be that section all figured out and, and, and then we still got we still got so much I don't know what I'm gonna do do I have too much storage space 
I have no clue if I have too much storage space. I guess we'll find out. Okay, top section or woods, I guess, are all done. I need to figure out what would go in good with the woods, and then we'll like maybe start to fill in the stones here. And I think part of this, right, is going to be don't completely obsess over filling every single spot with what you're going to put in that spot. So like this row right here is wood. And then I think for me anyways, it would make sense to do like a row of stones and then like a row of like, I don't even know what else yet. I'm gonna try to go through my chest and figure it out. And then what you can do is like, let's say, I don't know what to put in these spots in here, right? I, I just wanna kind of reserve this chest and set it aside. I could take a block, whatever it is, and then I could name it something and then reserve the slots. So I could take this light gray terracotta and name it slot reserves and then I could just fill the whole thing. And then that way, this one's not being used, right? So that would be like a blank one for me for now and items would skip it. What I can't do though, is I can't leave it empty. Cause if I leave it empty, then items aren't gonna skip it. They're gonna fill in there. So I think that's the approach that's gonna be the best to take. Let's go through, let's get all the items that we know where they wanna go, where we want them to go first. And then we'll move to the items that we don't quite know where we want them to go. And just an update on progress. I'm kind of finding things that, you know, I just didn't initially think about. Like we found some of the nether woods. So I added those in here. Uh, we got black stone. So I kind of put those in the stone line. Um, and then that's kind of got me thinking that like maybe like this slice right here, these that two slices, if you want to call it that, would be like all nether stuff. So it's just like a process, right? You got to figure out like, what is the way that you like to do it? You probably, or maybe won't like to do things the exact way that I do. Maybe you want to keep things up front and closer to you that you use more often, or maybe you want all stairs and slabs to go in one instead of like me, where I have like all andesite is in one thing and all granite is in one thing. Maybe you want all stairs in one and then all slabs in one. So in the end, it's kind of up to you on how you do it. I'm finding, but, uh, this method so far is working for me and right now I'm, I'm kind of at the point where I'm poking around through shulker boxes and like seeing what's in it that can like kind of make me think oh okay well I need this and this would kind of make sense here in my grand scheme of things and I'm kind of looking for things too like I know I need to get uh, sand for sandstone and have like all the different slab variants of that and I'm going to start looking through some of the menus and like you know just kind of go in here right and just like switch on like switch off the craftable thing and like see okay well like what are other things I need to account for like here's red nether brick and nether brick I didn't think about those and you have end stone like there's just so many things that you don't think of until you really start like getting digging deep and like poking around in here prismarine i don't even know i don't even have prismarine i'm gonna have to make a spot for it somewhere but i don't have it to put in there mossy stone brick like there's another one didn't think about that so like there's definitely all these variants red sandstone etc i could go on forever but you guys kind of get it right like there's there's a lot that we have to factor in and that's why in the end having various blank spaces through here might not be a bad thing because then once I discover something or get something new I can plug in I can just pop out what's in that blank space pop out the little placeholders there and then you know fill in with whatever it is I need to so it's been a couple hours later and uh, I've been changing things around a little bit as I go because I just keep running across new and more things that I wasn't thinking about like we got the mossy stone here and we got bricks and I need a space for red sandstone maybe I'll mix that with the bricks I don't know um, and like all the nether stuff, like I was like, oh man, there's quartz blocks and then there's end stone and then there's nether, red nether bricks and nether bricks and like just things keep popping up. So I'm still trying to figure it out and it dawned on me too. We're about to have a new update in 1.17 that comes out that has like 90 new blocks in it. <laughs> so I don't know how and where all that's going to fit in, but like I'm quickly running out of space here in my building block area. So. It might even have to be a like a uh, to be continued section over here. And then I was also going to be putting like all the colored stuff here too, like glass and and uh, dyes and, you know, all the things, all the stuff and things, terracotta, etc. Like all the colored stuff, wool. I have a lot of things I could put over here, color based too, which would be kind of fun. Um, so yeah, um, I did want to show you guys really quick how I've been organizing things a little bit inside the chest because I've spoken about it and you guys kind of saw it earlier, but oh, I haven't moved the things to that chest yet, but uh, kind of my method has been like, I'll take the core block, right? So say like granite and then I'll make 
some polished granite with it and then i'll make a few of like each of the things that go along with it i did the same thing with like the woods up here right so that i have like all the things that go in here and like i don't know like here's another brick section so like i've been going through and organizing these things and making sure i make some of all the items because what you're going to find is like as you're going through making things like you're going to be putting stuff in your system and it's going to go through and if you don't have a spot for it it's going to end up over here and you're going to have to make a spot for it anyways so it's just a little bit easier to go through and do it right away and i do prefer the method of having like i don't know like let's say i'm going to build the building that's going to go above here eventually right um and if i'm going to use some blackstone for that well then I, I would really just like to be able to come here and be like okay uh yeah i need some regular blackstone okay and i need some polished blackstone stairs like i can just get it all from here and not have to search around for it so much um also um make sure that whenever you're coming into your chest to get things you always leave one item in the slot so like if i need cobblestone like i'll probably like do that right and just i'll take 63 of it and then leave one in there that way we have something in the slot and we don't leave it empty to break the system later um but yeah i still got some more organizing to do and we may have to like move some of these things this way or i don't know i'll i'll, I'll let you guys know when i figure it out i guess okay and back again and i i filled out most of this area we're still going to have little bits and pieces that we need to do but i've been trying to figure out like the ways in which i want to organize it and it, it just really seems like a large system like this there's probably always going to be tweaking at least for a while um, but i wanted to move on from this section which is mostly like building blocks right and move on to trying to figure out what i'm going to be doing in these other sections hopefully without looking can you not step on my pressure plate dude um hopefully without um and in, in doing that, I really want to focus on, I think, this side first, right? Because I, I cleared this out. That's where our shulker boxes are going to go to fill up, which means that if I'm putting them down bottom here, then the things up here are going to be things that are not getting sorted into the shulkers because it's going to hit this before it hits that, right? So I was thinking this would probably be more of like my valuable bulls and stuff like i'm not going to need to sort like diamonds into shulkers and things like that but i need to give it a little bit of additional thought to see exactly how i want that to work or furthermore do i want the shulkers to be up here and i have like some way to get up and get down i don't think i want that i think i want the shulkers down here just for ease of access so yeah i gotta give this part a little bit of thought and then uh, one strategy I kind of want to employ as I start to figure out like where I'm going to be putting things here is like just going in chests and finding like, I don't know, like items that are in like categories like food, for example, or whatever. And then like I'll just fill my whole inventory with that and then like start placing like items and item frames just to kind of help me sort out what's going to go where. So we're going to figure out what this is first and I'm going to try out that strategy. I interrupt your viewing pleasure to ask you to please click the subscribe button. <laughs> it's down there, right down there, a yep, little bit to the right. Yeah, there you go, right there. Click the subscribe button if you're enjoying my content. Also, click like button. Uh, like button. Also, click the like button on this video. It does help the video and the channel get discovered when you do such a thing. And did you know I have merchandise? I have some amazing hashtag team mending gear. There's, there's some pretty terrible Team Infinity gear. Limited quantities, by the way. They're almost all sold out. And I would love to see the Mindy gear sell out before the Infinity gear because it's it's so much better. So if you don't mind, check out the store. All right, so I think I have a good set of things that I want to throw up here. So I believe what I'm gonna put here in this area are mob-based drops and then kind of like some other like miscellaneous things like I don't know coal i don't know maybe i should save coal for like a fuel source section um but also like crops and things that grow because uh, i'll never need to sort like these types of things into shulker boxes so i think a lot of those are safe to do we have a couple of miscellaneous things to like leads which i guess count as a mob base drop uh name tags which you can get trading through villagers um, etc so what i need to figure out now is the order in which i'm going to place these so really the reason i wanted to get my inventory set up this way is because i can just start popping individual items into item frames and then just very easily like knock it out and move it over or whatever as i go through in place and then once i get a good order here that i like 
I think what I'm going to do is then I'll start filling out the chests and and the number of these chests are probably going to have a lot of different items in them. So I'm also thinking I may put signs on the chest too. That way I can list like what is in there. Cause like, I don't know, example being that leads like whatever box they go into chest they go into i'm probably not going to know that leads are in there so i may actually just mark on the sign that this is where the leads are so that's kind of the plan maybe there's even like some miscellaneous boxes in here too i don't know um, but that's what i'm going to do here and i was also thinking about this side a little bit more and i think actually what this side is going to be is more of like my detailing detailing blocks so i might you i might move like Oh gosh, I might move those guys over. I need to, I need to put that down <laughs> there before I lose it and I forget. So I think I'm going to put like leaves over here and then other like things we use for like detailing, like grass and the like little nether grass things and vines and things like that. And I'll kind of start filling in up top there and then we'll see what kind of space I have left down bottom and what things we have left to sort in the chests but this is really starting to come together now that I have some sort of like plan so I guess that's really the thing is I know a lot of people do it in creative mode probably a good idea I probably should have done that but since I have everything here that I own I thought it would also just be easy to just start poking through my stuff and start placing things down and uh, I guess it's just a different strategy as opposed to going into creative and and placing things down like that and you may end up placing things down that you don't have or are never going to get so this feels like a more efficient way to me um i guess i'll i'll bring you guys back in once we have some kind of progress through this okay and after a big long excruciating period of time i've come through and i've gotten everything kind of sorted out right so um, we have like our our food stuffs consumable like growables and that sort of thing here and then like other like general like usable items and I kind of felt like everything fit here maybe we switch some things around at some point but that's fine this is like the building section right anything is like a building like block or, or generally speaking a full block that I would build with would kind of go here again lots of empty spaces to accommodate for 1.17 coming out over here we have our like building color section where we'll have like our different color terracottas um, and then I, I have like pods all here and I might and, uh, and coarse dirt in here too And then we have our leaves are more like natural grassy type things flowers uh, We have our detailing our lighting our detailing blocks And then we have our different colored things between wool carpet concrete powder concrete Glass stained glass like all those different things are here. Um, I need to make one for dyes too I don't have one for dyes and then over here is like our valuables slash ores where you can see like I've got like my diamonds lapis ancient debris in here shulker shells are in here uh, then we got iron gold etc uh, redstone stuff will go here I probably need to fill this in a little bit more and we'll see how it goes and then what I've done is I've put in placeholders for every spot I'm not using in both the, the chests that are empty and in any chest that I didn't fill in all the way. That way now, when I go through and start running shulker boxes through, they're gonna sort through, right? And then my process for this was, I kind of just went through all of my shulker boxes until I got to a point where it was really hard to start finding things that I didn't already have sorted. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired of like going through individual shulkers. So my plan right now is we need to get all of these shulker boxes run through the system. And then after they run through the system, and all the extra stuff is dumped in through here. Then I'll take a look, figure out if there's, is there anything I need to sort that's not sorted, fill in any like small gaps, and then we're kind of all done with this part. And then we'll leave the blank spaces until we need them. And then maybe we'll like start purposely filling some of these blank spaces in as we go through and play in the world and make new builds. Now, to build this, we are, or not to build this, but to get these loaded, since there's so many of them, instead of using this area right here that we made to load shulkers with where we can do 12 at a time that's a lot of manual labor for all of these shulker boxes i got another plan to get these things all entered in okay and i said we were going to do a shulker box unloader and a shulker, bo shulker box unloader is what we're going to do and i have picked and prepped the location it is not this big i just wanted to give myself a little bit of room to work and look and not be crammed up against the wall this thing is actually extremely small you can put it in as small as a four by three by four area 
Uh, my area will be a little bit larger just because of where I'm putting like the item input and output and stuff like that. So, um, but yes, it is super tiny and it's going to go in this hallway that we've been working on here or we've not working on, but plotted out. And um, I think we're going to like shove it in right here, right? So we're going to put a chest here, double chest here. And this is where all of these shulker boxes um, that get unloaded are going to go. So the empty shulkers are going to go into this. And then... Of course, I didn't grab hoppers. Where are my hoppers at? All right, and we're going to take a couple hoppers, and we're going to put one right here, one into the back of this chest, and then we'll put one going into the back of that hopper right there. Let me make sure they're both, both facing the right direction. They are. Good. And then I'm going to have a hopper facing down right here, and then that hopper will actually end up going over and connecting to my item input which is kind of going across here i need to figure out where that's going to intersect but basically um, in this system the items are going to come out and go out here and get into this system right there and then um, this right here is going to be where the empty shulkers come in so i'm actually going to go ahead and connect in this input first just so i know where that is and that's out of the way okay so chest in place and we got our hopper line going through and snaking over and connecting in, which is awesome. Didn't cost us too terribly many hoppers to do it either. I probably could have just came went across straight there, couldn't I? I'll fix that. I don't know why I looped it around like I did. But in any event, uh, we need to go ahead and we need to get our system, our redstone stuff in place. It's going to be reading this, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put, actually, let me get a... Uh, we'll just put this down as a temporary block for now. We got this as a temporary block. And then I need to get my um, dispenser in because this is going to be dispensing out our shulker boxes. That guy right there is going to face down just like that. And then this is going to be the backdrop behind the shulker box. I don't know for sure what coloring I'm going to be using here. If it's going to be probably something like this wood maybe or if I'll go with something else. But we'll replace that block later. Okay. Now uh, what we need to do is we need to be able to read... A signal off of this so we're going to put a comparator right here that can read the shulker box signal through this block right here meaning that if there's something in the shulker box that comparator is going to be able to light up that comparator is going to point into a solid block I'm gonna put this uh, wool down right here and then we are going to have a redstone torch right here that is going to be powering a sticky piston is going to go right above it we'll have the sticky piston go right here like this that's going to extend out perfect and that's going to actually have an observer on the front of it so every time that this thing gets power and i'll demonstrate for you guys in a little bit every time this thing um, gets power that's going to go in and then every time the shulker box empties it's going to extend out okay now that's going to extend out into i think we need another like decorative block that would go right here then a regular fist piston is going to face this way like this so now whenever a shulker box gets emptied we're already set up to where um, this will shoot that observer forward and it'll power this and that will knock up the shulker box by pushing it and I'll demonstrate all of this later and now we actually need to make it so we can lock this hopper right here so to lock that hopper what we're going to do is we're going to actually take signal away from this so I'm going to put down two blocks here for some redstone stuff to go on to and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put down a piece of redstone dust right here and then a repeater right here and we're going to have a solid block right here and we'll come over to this other side i'm going to knock out this block right there and i'm going to put a block right here and a piece of redstone dust on top of that so now this hopper is locked, meaning like I can come over here, right? And I could throw down, oh, that went to the wrong one. I could throw down a piece of redstone dust on there. As you see, it doesn't, it doesn't get sucked up by the hopper. So now nothing can get sucked in by that hopper whenever there's no signal coming through, which is what we want. So now we need to put in the circuit that is going to like actually put out a new shulker box. And this is going to be really easy to do. We're going to take an observer and we want to look right here at this piston arm because we want to send out a signal whenever that piston arm goes off. OK, we'll put a block right here beside the dispenser and that observer is going to send a signal to this block right here. 
And then you're going to want to put a repeater right here. So what's going to happen is this observer sees that piston arm move. It's going to send a signal to this block right here. That block is going to, or this repeater is going to get power from that block. And we're going to put it on a two tick delay. The two tick delay just makes it so that it doesn't try to dispense out a new shulker box whenever this, like while this piston is still extended out, it's going to delay it. And I'm going to kind of explain it and show it to you guys in full here in just a moment. Once I get these last bits hooked in, and really in terms of last bits, all we need is we need storage into, into this guy right here. And we need some like decorative bits just to kind of like house all of this because all of the guts of this and that little bit we just did right there is all complete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just fill in like a little bit of like decorative pieces around here real quick and box things in a little bit. So that way I can see where things are going to go. And we need to decide where our input's going to go because we need to have a way to put our uh shulker boxes into here and we'll probably like have a double chest full of them to be able to go in okay so i carved out a little bit of the wall I built here to show you guys how it works we do have items going through the system right now i actually went afk and a lot have gone through you see we got a lot of shulker boxes in here none of them have anything in it oh and it just actually it just actually went right there so basically what's happening is whenever there is a shulker box there with items in it that is turned on and that being powered turns the power for this torch off so this uh observer here is sitting in the off position this is a rising as edge monostable circuit so whenever this torch is turned on the edge rises in this case goes over here and since it's an observer when it moves it gets a one tick pulse which it sends this block right here which makes that piston move breaks the shulker box and then the shulker box will move over into the hopper that's to the right there and make its way into the chest now the reason it does not make its way into this hopper is because also while that is happening whenever the shulker box is empty um, this right here also gets power too so not only are we getting power to um, that up there at the same time we're getting power to that which locks this hopper and this shulker box will not be able to go down into there now after all of that completes at a very slight delay when this piston moves to move that forward to trigger this it will also this uh, observer right here will see that move and then it is going to send a signal or a pulse right here to this block which is then going to allow this to get power and that is going to be what triggers our dispenser to send out a new shulker box and that guys is how the entire system works and that is where we are going to wrap things up today everybody so if you enjoyed this episode please click on that like button consider subscribing to the channel as well i would greatly appreciate it if you're not subscribed if you click that subscribe button for me and i will see you next time goodbye